Hi! Good day! Welcome to Science Colab. For today's lesson, we are going to identify the key parts of the breathing system and describe its function. But before that, let us define what is respiratory system. The respiratory system is the set of organs that allows a person to breathe and exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the body. It also provides oxygen for metabolism in tissues. The respiratory system removes carbon dioxide. It is also responsible for the exchange of gases between the atmosphere, lungs, blood, and tissues. What is respiration? Respiration is the process of gas exchange the release of carbon dioxide, and the uptake of oxygen that occurs between red blood cells and alveoli. What is breathing? Breathing is the actual mechanical intake of air. How breathing is controlled? Breathing is controlled by the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata monitors carbon dioxide in the blood. As carbon dioxide increases, nerve impulses make the diaphragm contract. Bringing air into the lungs, the higher the carbon dioxide level, the stronger the impulses. Here is the overview picture of the respiratory system. The nose and mouth. This is where all begins. This is where oxygen first enters to your body and also where carbon dioxide lives. When the air comes into your nose, it gets filtered by tiny hairs called cilia and it is moistened by mucus that is in your nose. Air also gets into your body through your mouth or oral cavity. But air is not filtered as much when it enters through your mouth. Next part is pharynx are known as throat. It lies behind the nasal passages. So what is nasal passages? Nasal passages serve as channel for airflow through the nose in which the air is warmed, cleaned, and moistened. Your pharynx gathers air after it passes through your nose and then the air is passed down to your trachea or the windpipe. Next part is larynx. Contains vocal cords that vibrate on exhaled air to produce sound. Next is epiglottis. It is a flap of cartilage that closes the larynx during swallowing and prevents food and liquids from entering the trachea. Trachea or windpipe. This is where the air passes from your nose to your bronchial tubes and lungs. Your trachea or windpipe splits up into two bronchial tubes. These two tubes keep splitting up and form your bronchioles. Next part is bronchial tubes. It is a two branching tubes that connect the trachea to the lungs. And next is bronchioles. The finer subdivisions of the bronchi. Hair like structured tubes that connect to the alveoli. Next is lungs. The lungs are a pair of breathing organs located with the chest, which remove carbon dioxide from and bring oxygen to the blood. Next is diaphragm, a muscular partition between the chest cavity and abdominal cavity. And last is alveoli. Alveoli are tiny air sacs that fill up with air or oxygen when you breathe in. Your alveoli are surrounded by many tiny blood vessels called capillaries. Alveoli known as the air sacs. It looks like a cluster of grapes. To check your understanding, Please answer this simple activity. So the procedure is this. 
refer to the diagram and check your understanding of the breathing system by labeling each part and giving its functions in the box corresponding to the part. Congratulations students for finishing this lesson. I hope you learned something for this topic and once again, thank you and God bless.